Welcome to your new room. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Oh my god. Nice. All right. I walk in, I see space, I see, oh, I can put my couch there, my TV there. Looks yeah, good. Yeah, I like the kitchen. Like it. It's a big open area. This is awesome. Man. Mm. This kitchen has the best of both worlds. It's renovated and it's huge. And it's open enough here that you can entertain. Like, you can have a table here. Have you yeah. seen any of the apartments with two sinks? No, I don't know. So. It is, it's open. Yeah. Like the whole, it's just one big space. Yeah. Like echoes, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this space, but it's great. Three big windows. And should we walk downstairs? Check out this basement. And check out the floors. Ooh, buddy, I can get my slide going on in here. <laughs> it's a nice bedroom, man. This is really nice. Separating the two floors, you have the place where you sleep, you have the place where you socialize. I love that. That bedroom is almost the full size of the basement. Look, buddy, look how much space you got back there to put all your shoes. You can, like, stack them up back there. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty big closet. And oh, buddy, there's more than enough room for your bed, your dressers. Scott said he wanted a bedroom with square footage. Oh, the bathroom. Nice and roomy. Not bad, not bad. What is this? I don't know. It looks like something that an ex-girlfriend would leave behind when they tried to decorate your place. I <laughs> really don't like it. A laundry, a laundry room. room. Having laundry on site wasn't on Scott's wish list, but it should be. It is coin operated, but it's right here in your house. A dollar each? That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't have to lug clothes everywhere. So, what do you think about this place? It's great. Talk about an open concept. We will have to play around with the furniture. The alcove by the window is the perfect place for a dining area. I'd add an inexpensive table and chairs to create a formal eating spot. Positioning the couch in the center of the room would create a pass-through to get to the basement while maintaining a cozy living space with a rug defining it. In a rental, an inexpensive shelving unit can be used to create some separation between the kitchen and living area. Adding stools below will give you an instant breakfast bar. As a renter, you don't want to spend too much money on decorating an apartment you don't own, so I've given us a tight budget. Everything here has to come in under $900, which is less than one month's rent for Scott. The least expensive way to personalize a rental is with a couple cans of paint. Painting the walls a crisp white will keep everything feeling new and clean. An accent wall in a bold teal will add a little style. And an inexpensive slip cover will give his secondhand couch a new feel on a renter's budget. When I'm done with it, I hope it'll be the perfect space for this first-time renter. Hello. Hi, Jody. How are you? Not bad. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. This is incredible. This is great. I love it. Oh, the paint, the colors are beautiful. You like that? This is so awesome. Dude. This place just yeah, no. stands out. It really speaks to me. Good. Let me just get comfortable here. I love it. It's, it's so nice, flexible nice. space, right? Because you could add to this or take away from it. It could be your breakfast bar. I can see the TV. I can sit here yeah. and have my bowl of cereal. And so we moved to the table from being in this corner, which was a little cramped, and blocked your pantry, to over in this area. I think that's perfect. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now Scott's got two dining areas, an informal countertop in the kitchen and a more formal dining table by the window for entertaining. I had this vision and you took it to the next level. Good. This is incredible. The bedroom. So good. So you guys like the shoes. What about the room? This is great. Oh, beautiful. My degrees are over there, too. So oh. where'd you get these forged again? <laughs> we came in just under budget. Updating Scott's first rental only cost $850. 
So I hope that I've captured the right space to let you grow into the man you want to be and support your new lifestyle. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience. I found what I was looking for. And that's the most important thing. So the kitchen is the area that needs the most work. Walk up the stairs and you see the tiny kitchen with all the clutter. That was kind of a punch in the face. It has a double sink, but it has no counter space. What you do get with this area is the open concept, which makes the whole space feel bigger. I like the open concept. Let's talk about the living area. OK, so we would call this cozy. But in a great area like this, sometimes you have to go with a smaller space in order to be able to enjoy the area. It's like a trade-off. What do you think is behind door number two? Please don't tell me that's the bathroom. Oh, it is a bathroom. Yes, it is. There's it's one of two bathrooms in this place. Whoa. That's a perk that you don't very often get, mm -hmm. um, and, it's a, and it's a good one. The other bathroom is just through the office, so we'll see it over here. This den is so tight right now with Unbelievable clutter. I, I don't know how anyone gets anything done in here. If you remove even half of the stuff the current tenants have, then I think it would be manageable, maybe. This is a very standard size den. Yeah, we could make it work here. And it's large enough for a music room, too. And then the washroom is right off of here. Washroom number two. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's tight, but it's usable. It's got a shower. That okay. helps. If you were just using a bedroom as a bedroom, how's this? The bedroom's fine. It would fit all of our furniture. Loads of places have bedrooms that are quite a bit smaller than that one, so if they can't make this one work, then we've really got our work cut out for us. The best part is the patio. How's this for a patio? Wow. This I like. Patio is the best part about the apartment. There aren't that many apartments in the city that have a deck that's this big. Amy and Justin need to realize that with every apartment, there are some things you like. I love the deck. And some things you don't. Kitchen really tiny. It might be small, but that kitchen has potential. I took them in for a closer look. I've got some pretty good ideas of how you could rejig this space to work for you. While I can't add square footage, I can easily add more counter space. As a renter, you don't want to invest in fixed countertops that you can't take with you, so I'd suggest some portable counter space with built-in storage underneath. Custom cabinetry is out of the question on a renter's budget, so I'd bump up the storage potential of this kitchen with inexpensive open shelving. We've taken over Amy and Justin's new apartment, and now we need to pull it all together. This place has potential, but it's gonna take a lot of work. I promised these guys a stylish and clean kitchen with counter space and storage to spare. But it's a rental. You don't want to invest too much money in someone else's property. So I've given us a tight budget. Everything has to come in under $1,000. We have a long way to go and little money to spend to turn this kitchen from the worst room in the rental to the best. Oh, wow. Oh, my god. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Nice. All right, I fancy this. This is killer. Oh, <laughs> the wall is magnetic. No way. Magnetic primer and then chalkboard paint over top. I think it'll be so much fun at martini parties. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our friends are going to love it. Well, I think it's going to be a great art exhibit. You never know what'll end up there. Way more countertop oh, space. Oh, and mm. the cupboards look so much better now. They even found spots for the martini glasses. <laughs> it's actually two bottoms of a desk. We put a countertop yep. on top of it, so like a chop block. Right now, it can act as a return or an island in the kitchen. You can move it because it's on wheels. Okay, cool. That lock. So you can move it around if you're having a party. You could go against this wall. You could do whatever you want with it. Party time, we move the kitchen arrangement over to the side. More room, otherwise it's great counter space. You got the stool, so that works yeah. just fine. The stools help the new countertop do double duty as a breakfast bar. It'll be good for us to actually have some space to sit. Yeah. More workable than it was before. And a lot cleaner. We couldn't have moved in here without the cleaning. And of course, a fresh coat of paint always helps make a place feel really clean as well. I really like how open everything is and that we can, you know, cook and entertain. In small spaces, it's so important to keep things consistent. So we have the same color running across the whole room and the same light fixtures in both spaces. I love the light fixtures. Mm -hmm. And the curtains. Oh, I love the orange. I love the orange. 
One of the most important things in Amy and Justin's search was finding an office where both of them can get some work done. And they'll have no trouble fitting a couple of desks in there down the road. We will be able to fit both of our desks in there, as well as the piano, the accordion, the guitars. It's very surprising how much you can actually fit in that space. Amy and Justin's bedroom looks a thousand times better. The way the bedroom is laid out right now is kind of perfect for us. We still have room to walk around. We still have access to the back patio. The back patio is great. The previous tenant left all their exterior furniture. We're going to have a party tomorrow. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Well done. When we first saw the place, it felt crowded and very tiny. And now it's entirely the opposite. It feels spacious. You feel like you can relax in it. It feels absolutely wonderful. This place is completely transformed. It's hard to believe that we only spent $925. I think it's important to make a home your own, regardless of whether you're renting or buying. So investing some money into a space that you think you're going to live in in the next three years or even more, I think that that's important. We're going to be here for a while. We love this place. Great job. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. I think it's a great space for them to start this next phase of their life. So come on in. Oh, wow, very nice. Nice windows, eh? Great windows, very nice, very bright. It's nice and open. My first thought was that it was quite airy, quite large. A couple of things I wasn't too sure about. The living space, just having the front door off of it is a little awkward because it's very narrow. I like the open concept. It'll be great for entertaining because you can have people at the table, people in the living room, so that works well. Yeah, and it's yeah. got some great walls for wallpapering. And he had uh, the hardwood floors covered up for years and years with carpet, so they're beautiful. They are. The chandelier's got to go. So <laughs> it's a little 70s for me. Back into a galley-style kitchen, but this one has loads of cupboard space. I thought it would be better as far as storage goes for you. And it has a lot more counter space as well in the double sink, which is really nice. I definitely wanted something that was a little more open concept. This works because of the kitchen and the dining room being off of each other. So, Chris, what do you think of this master bedroom? It's good size, big window, ceiling fan, that's cool. And the piece de resistance. Huge oh, closet. Wow, that's like Very a bowling alley. Let's check out the second bedroom. Cool. What do you think, madame? You could have a, a beautiful big room for yourself. It is wonderful. I finally have a room with a door. It'll be great when his parents come in from out of town or for myself, <laughs> definitely. So there's a little linen closet here. Great. And the bathroom's a little bit retro. Everything else looks great. New tile, new fixtures. Duly note the hot and cold Which faucet. Which is a definite must. Chris, what do you think? My big concern is this space, the living area. It's a little tight fitting. Another thing would be not having an entry closet. That's a little awkward. We can deal with all of those issues. In an awkward room, it's all about space planning. First off, to create some separation and a sense of privacy, we'd place an inexpensive shelving unit by the front door. It's an instant way to section off a room on a renter's budget. Just make sure both sides are finished and painted. That would help the seating area feel intimate and warm. And with nice-sized coffee and side tables, it'll be the perfect place to entertain guests. My design plan is centered around sourcing some beautiful fabrics that'll work with Chris's wallpaper choices. He's taking care of installing the wallpaper he's always wanted, and I'm taking care of the rest. My biggest challenge? On a budget less than his monthly rent, I need to unveil the true potential of this huge space and help it function to suit Chris's lifestyle. We're assembling an easy and inexpensive unit that'll add some privacy to the front entrance and function as decorative storage. The living room walls are getting a coat of bold teal, which will complement the wallpaper. And a great new light fixture will add a bit of glam to the dining space, the perfect touch for a space to entertain. This living dining space is well on its way, and after a stressful move, I'm hoping our design will bring Chris some peace instead of disappointment. Wow. Wow. That's a great blue. That wall is awesome. And she did an amazing job. The wall it looks works great. So, well. so do the window treatments. Perfect. It's very welcoming and very warm environment to be in. And I love these little shelves. They work out really well, so it gives you yeah. the division you wanted. Yes, I thought that the open shelving unit would be perfect for you. 
It's very dark. Just stands out a bit without being too intrusive. It provides you with some, a little bit of privacy right when you come in the door. It's not only useful for storing and displaying things, it's also helpful to kind of keep that door separate from everywhere. It's something I can take with me. It's a, it's a very flexible piece. We recovered your couch with uh, simple slip covers. I asked Jody, could we get it recovered and reuse it? And that's what we've done. I'm glad I still have my old couch. Slip covers are an inexpensive way for renters to bring new life to really good quality older pieces of furniture. It definitely looks like a totally different couch. That's cool. I use a lot of mirrors in this space because it's a bit of an angular room. So the mirrors add a lot of depth, but they also add loads of glamour. I love the way that you can see everything in the room from any angle. It's really great. And it brings all the colors back into the room, which is nice. She's done an amazing job. It'll be someplace I'll be proud to show people. I like my wallpaper, of course. <laughs> my wallpaper looks awesome. Now let's look at the dining room. Okay. Chris, I have to thank you for putting up such big, full, beautiful wallpaper. This rental has three huge windows. <laughs> we did horizontal blinds in a big, masculine, white slat. I think it was worth the money to be able to give you the control that you'd be looking for. Chris is the type to stay in a rental for a long time, and that makes a big purchase like custom blinds absolutely worth the investment. These curtains that are made out of just a simple velvet fabric were very inexpensive. It's a great, easy way for any renter to add a lot of glam to their space. And the color just really pops at you, and it looks great with the wallpaper. I also love the dining room set that you chose. It's an eight-seater square, which looks fabulous. I really love the flow of the space in here, the way the rooms kind of work together so that when you're entertaining, you can be in the living room or the dining room and you can still converse with each other. You can have a serious dinner party here. I'm really loving that chandelier. You did a great job picking that out. It just, it really pops. It's very sparkly without being uh, too overdone, which is uh, kind of me. The dining room is perfect, uh, beautiful colors. The rest of the room is great too. It's just a perfect space for me. It's definitely looking nice and rich and uh, making me feel more at home. Perfect. The kitchen. I think it will be a great space. Lots of room to get some cooking done. I really like the gray color that's being used in there as kind of an accent. Everybody looked at the office space that I was calling the den and kind of laughing, saying, that's too small for an office. But I think now everyone can see that it is a great space for that. It's perfect. Chris's bedroom is absolutely bang on his style. It's a really big room. It's going to be my kind of sanctuary. This place has been so much fun to work on. It's been a blast. Thank you. It, it looks amazing. I'm happy with the results. I think uh, it's a place I'm going to be very comfortable in. Chris really contributed to the design of this space. He bought wallpaper, had it installed. He even bought some furniture. And we were able to do all the rest for under $950. It really didn't take an awful lot to turn this space around. I may be only renting and it may not be mine, but I'm still living there. And whether it be for a year or 10 years, it has to be a reflection of me. I think I finally found a place that really says, this is my life, it fits in perfectly. It's where I want to be. And all my fears have been laid to rest. And I think I'm going to enjoy quite a few years here. So this is the family room. We need some colors in here. <laughs> Carpet needs some repairing. Now, with a co-op, when there's little things to be repaired because there's no landlord, you have to do that on your own. So, so the carpet's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not thrilled with the carpet that runs throughout the house, but it's, it's not a deterrent for renting. So let's check out the rest of the house. All right. This is my room. Yes, this is the master. Oh, this has a closet. You don't even have a closet at home. Yeah. It's about three times the size of my room. So this would be Jules' room. Um, for my room? Yes. Um, it's a little bit small. It would look different if all this stuff was gone. But. I have the same amount of stuff. Like, I have a bed, I have a dresser, a desk. Mm -hmm. That doesn't leave very much room. And, like, there's a good closet. I, the one that I have right now is really narrow, and I can't, I can hardly fit anything in it. But it's very small. 
so Dre. Kitchen. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a huge kitchen. <laughs> it's big. That's fabulous. You love the size. Yeah. yeah. Okay, baby blue covers and white walls have to go. With a portable, multi-purpose island, we could section off the cooking and eating areas. Keeping it long and narrow will create extra counter space. If the co-op agrees, we'll swap out the tired kitchen countertop, replacing it with an inexpensive laminate from a big box store. A bit of a splurge for a rental, but worth it. So it's my turn to get to work on my vision for this space. With a budget that's less than one month's rent, my crew and I are going to transform this space. With permission from the co-op, we're getting rid of the old, run-down stove. To stay on budget, we sourced out a used stove that's in great condition. A clever way to update a kitchen without the price tag of a new appliance. With the old stove gone, we've decided to replace the backsplash. And because it's such a small space, just one box of new subway tiles should do the trick. Always make sure you get permission from the landlord, condo board, or co-op before taking on any major projects. If you offer to do the labor yourself, they might even consider covering the material costs. We're well on our way to bringing our design plans to fruition. I'm just hoping it's in tune with Dre and Jewel's vibrant personalities. <laughs> wow. Is this the same place? <laughs> It's so cute. There's so much to look at when you walk in. I like that. It looks fabulous. She's exceeded our expectations. That's so <laughs> pretty. Chandelier won my heart. It was the first thing that caught my eye when I came in because it's it's so unique and it was completely unexpected. Ooh la la. That's really cool. This was meant to be um, a dressing table, but it works fabulously as an island. And we just put the kitchen hardware on it, and there's a little uh, tea towel rack right. on the other side. You can mm -hmm. take it with you to the next house. When I saw the island, I instantly pictured my mom making food and me talking to her, sitting down and doing work. Because in our old house, we didn't have too much counter space, so we can both be doing something. And that's a different stove. It's not all rusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we found you a clean one. So did you notice that we changed out the backsplash and the countertops? Yeah. Oh, the faucet's new too. That's pretty. Changing out the faucet brought this kitchen to a new decade. That's an easy find too. I mean, you can get a faucet like that for, you know, under 100 bucks easily. Okay. So the table and chairs were a fabulous secondhand find. Mm -hmm. We got the whole set for $145. Wow. And uh, the team and I painted them out. We recovered the cushions so that they've been luxurious. I love the color in the kitchen. It's, it's just so happy. It's just warm and sunny and makes you, you want to hang out there. This could be me in the morning. Jewel, get my breakfast. The living room looks absolutely transformed just by removing the excess furniture that the previous tenants had and keeping it really simple. The bathroom is a hundred times better. In my opinion, that bathroom just needed decluttering and a real good cleaning. I love my bedroom. I love uh, the natural light that comes in. Uh, I like waking up to that. So I'm going to enjoy my first sleep in my new bedroom. We came in right on budget here. This entire reno cost only $1,000. It's totally worth it for a renter to invest in a rental space. And this is your home, so you want to make it as warm as you can on your budget. You guys did a great job. We'll be really, really happy here. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm so happy for you guys. This is the best place. I so look forward to spending years here. So it does have its own private entrance for you, so it's nice and safe. I like that this hallway has got a really open feel. Yeah, it's great. And the floors, too. I really like the floors. The original hardwood in a really nice shade of brown. I like the character, and I like the hominess. Let's have a closer look at the kitchen. Is that a washer and a dryer? <laughs> That's yeah. It's nice and new, too. 
It has a washer and a dryer, which are, you know, kind of odd to have in the kitchen, but I guess that's how they do it in Europe, n'est-ce pas? It's a very spacious kitchen. Mm -hmm. You can right. actually see the exposed brick through the skylight next door, <laughs> which is really nice, too. The kitchen is an excellent size. It's very workable, and it feels even more open because it's got that opening to the stairwell and the hallway. How do you feel about the floor? It's not necessarily what I would choose in my own home, but that's why I'm a renter, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the bathroom. So, makeup artist, how do you feel about natural light in the bathroom? Uh -huh. That's amazing. I didn't even think to have a skylight in the bathroom on my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> but it would have been if you had thought of it. Yeah, it's nice great. and spacious, yeah. too. Well, the bathroom's great, the kitchen's great. Let's check out the bedroom. Awesome. When considering second floor apartments, look for features like balconies, huge windows, and ceiling fans that will help with airflow. It's got a fan, which is great. Why don't you check out what's behind door number one? Is it a balcony? Well, <laughs> it's a Juliet balcony. That's <laughs> definitely very charming. It's very cozy, and it's great to have such a big open space that faces east in the morning, too. Let's go check out the living room. Okay. This is very cute. Yeah. yeah. The thing that I thought you would like about it is the hardwood floor, the sloped roof, the bay window. But we could make this space even cozier. For renters, an electric fireplace is an inexpensive and simple solution. It can be unplugged and easily moved when your lease is up. An upholstered bench will add extra seating options, but can also be used as a coffee table. And full-length graphic curtain panels will add an extra touch of coziness to the space. My plan is to blend old with new to create a quirky but stylish living room. In a rental, sticking to neutral paint colors is a good idea. Some landlords will ask a renter to paint over a bold color choice before they move out. So check with the landlord before you break out the paintbrushes. Keeping in mind that it's a rental, we're working with a solid $1,000 budget. And after a good clean, a little bit of elbow grease, and the new electric fireplace, this room is coming along. I'm just hoping it'll be the change Whitney needs leading into her big 3-0. Wow. Oh my god. This is amazing. I love the textures and I love the aesthetic and I think you've totally pegged me, which is really good. I love how airy the room seems, even though the furniture is so big. And I even think just painting at the ceiling in white is what's helping Certainly. make the space <clears throat> feel bigger and brighter. Yeah, and so do all of these amazing trinkets. Oh, and it's a beautiful <laughs> lamp, too. Rentals don't always have fabulous lighting, so investing in some lighting like a table lamp or a floor lamp is a way of adding elegance. The fireplace I'm really excited about, because I think it'll also give the place a lot of heat, because there's only baseboard heating in each room. I love how these window treatments let a bit of light in. It's a funky and very, very practical window treatment. We spent a little bit of extra money on the horizontal blinds that are custom fit, but we saved money on the side panels that are not so expensive. It's very urban chic, but still Whitney is still kind of like funky and cool. And, and I love how you've mixed the old with the new too. That footstool is, mm -hmm. I love that. I think that is probably my favorite thing. I can't wait to put my feet up on that and have a glass of wine. The upholstery tacks are an inexpensive way of adding a lot of pizzazz and charm to the ottoman. And Whitney really appreciated that. She seemed to really fall in love with the piece. The bedroom is small, so we kept it very clean and uncluttered. The way Jody set up the room is, you know, it's a very kind of calm and serene environment. The bathroom has great natural light, and once we toned down the paint color, it gave it a really nice spa-like feeling. It'll be great to have beautiful natural light streaming in through the window, and that'll, that'll be nicer for me when I put on my makeup, too. The kitchen wasn't big enough to add a full dinner table, so I repurposed her patio furniture, and now she's got a little bistro table there. The kitchen's really great. It's got great appliances. It's got lots of storage in the pantry. It's got a washer and dryer, and it's really open. I think I lucked out. I know initially I wanted a place that was just like Blair's, but, you know, it's like love. You never know it until you see it. <laughs>
For $950, which is less than one month's rent, Whitney has a fabulously designed and styled place that really suits her personality. It really reflects who I am. I'm really happy with the way this place turned out. I think I hit Whitney's design sense on the head, and then this will be a great inspirational environment for her to live out the next phase of her life. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually kind of looking forward to turning 30 and spending it in this place. So come on in. It's big. It's huge. Well, it needs a little work. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's got absolutely no carpet. Excellent. It's like getting out of the dungeon and into the real world. Can we see more? Yeah. <laughs> well. Pretty 80s in here. I think that it just needs to be updated. When I booked the appointment with the superintendent, he mentioned that as people move out, they're doing some renovation, which could be a really good opportunity for you guys. I didn't know that they did that. It really does help help us sort of see it in a different view. Why don't we note the things that you would do if you were renovating it yourself and see if you can negotiate a renovation into your deal if this is the place you like. Right, okay. Right. So this would be the second bedroom. It is a really nice size second bedroom. This would be the room that we'd use for our guest room and office. A great place to put the musical instruments as well. Uh, Floors need some work. Yeah, they're yeah. Really rough. I'm really banking on the superintendent to do a nice reno. Yeah. Keep our fingers crossed. So the bathroom. It's kind of nasty. Yeah, it needs some serious TLC. I think the tub needs a little work. You can put that on the list. That tub, hey, I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's rusty and gnarly. I wouldn't want to soak in that tub. Let's see the master. OK. Right. Nice size room. Yeah. yeah. It's wow. Giant. This is huge. Really? You can actually yeah. fit a bed in here and walk around it. It'd be nice not to have the bed jammed up against the wall, so you have to like crawl over somebody to get up in the night. Whoa, oh my that's really? giant. We could each have our own size. We can store stuff in there as well and, and also still have a totally accessible closet space, so that's good. I guess the biggest problem is going to be trying to figure out what we're going to do with the dining room and living room. Yeah. Oh, yeah? That's where we sort of bring everything together. OK, well, I've got a couple of ideas. I've seen this layout done really well before. L-shaped living dining rooms are common in older high-rise apartments. Tuck a dining table and chairs into the smaller area, leaving the larger space for the living room, which is used more frequently. Instead of expensive wall-to-wall -wall drapes, get the look at a quarter of the cost by flanking the windows with fixed panels. Chances are you'll be able to take them down and work them into the decor of your next living space. Now it's my turn to deliver on my promise to transform Colin and Brooke's run-of-the-mill living dining room into a stylish and functional space. On a budget of $1,000, less than one month's rent, we are painting, reupholstering, and styling the space into a magazine-worthy room to relax and entertain in. I just hope it's what Brooke and Colin have in mind after relocating to their suburban rental. Oh, my. <laughs> Come see your new space. Oh, my. It looks amazing. Gorgeous, like completely different. Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my pictures. That's so cool. The wall gallery obviously was inspired by your photography, Colin. <laughs> Clearly. I didn't think it was that good. It looks great on the gray, and it just it has does, so yeah. much punch. I tried to go for a very warm gray. Modern, but comfortable. I love the coffee the table. The coffee table, coffee is, table amazing. is amazing. It's sort of rustic, and it uh, it's really cool. For me, that has that element of home. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's got that sort of country kind of feel. The carpet is made up of carpet tiles. You can pull them apart and change the configuration. So these all come apart? You can see where the lines are. They separate. That's so it could so end up in a rec room in the future. It could right. end up in a kid's room, whatever. The, the curtains and the blinds behind it? We went with a natural fiber roller blind and then curtains that bring in the gray and the brown right. that were already in the space. The blinds are sheer and the drapes are soft, so it's, it's beautiful. We still have that brightness and still have some privacy. Look at the dining room table. I know. Look at that. We can actually eat here and stuff and like, look at this. It's <laughs> awesome. Switching pendant fixtures for something modern is the easiest way to update a dining room. They're very hip and it would be something I'd see in a designer store that would definitely catch my eye. And Colin's mom gave them a beautiful dining suite. 
I was able to easily recover the seat cushions in a color that ended up being my accent color for the rest of the room. That's your mirror. Yeah. So cool. That's crazy. I love how you've like sort of incorporated some of our stuff. This is fantastic. Jody's done a really good job sort of incorporating a bit of each of us in, mm -hmm. the, in the rooms. I'm really happy with yeah. it. Yeah. That's Our great. landlords did an incredible job with renovations here. Our kitchen is 100 times better. The landlord replaced the countertop and sink, upgraded the appliances, and retiled the floor. The kitchen looks brand new. Colin and Brooke weren't willing to take this place without a major overhaul in the bathroom. The landlord re-enameled the tub, tiled the shower, and repaired damage to the walls. Now it's a clean, bright space. The master bedroom is big, but it was lacking character. It only took a can of paint to give it a little personality. It's a nice, bright Tuscan yellow, and it's gorgeous. It's awesome. We have so much space, and actually, we don't even fill it up, which is pretty great. For less than one month's rent, I was able to transform this space into a warm and inviting environment for their new life together. I've lived like a student for a lot of years, and it's nice to actually have a real space that's really comfy and really is our own home. Even if it is a rental, if we're here for five years, it's still our home. So Absolutely. I think it's definitely worth the investment. It did an amazing job. It's been a bit of an, an, an epic adventure for us. <laughs> yeah. So to see it all sort of come down to this, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your space. Thank, thank you. you. Colin and Brooke's ultimate goal is to be able to buy a house. But in the meantime, I think they're going to be really comfortable here. So come on in. Right away, we find a bedroom. Wow. This is huge. Nice the bay window is pretty wonderful. Yes. Nice ceiling. Really high ceiling. Really good ceiling height, isn't it? Amazing. Jamie, I'll have to grow a couple inches. <laughs> I could like jump on a trampoline in here. <laughs> Let's, Let's check out the closet. closet. Oh, Jamie, this is good. I feel like there's some wasted closet space back there, but it's good cut. Yeah. So the second bedroom. Wow, huge, nice again. The bedrooms in this place are really good for these girls. They're pretty much equal size. So what does that window go out to? The window actually doesn't lead outside. It leads into a laundry area that's shared between the units. I like to wake up in the morning and look out my bedroom window, not any other window in the house, and see what the weather is like. I didn't know she was so particular about her window. <laughs> I think I need a new roommate. <laughs> so here's the bathroom. Tile everywhere. The bathroom isn't a bad bathroom, as far as bathrooms go. And kitchen. Kitchen's decent, decent size. And I guess you can change out these, right? Yeah. Hardware is really easy to switch out. That's one of the you know cheap um, and easy things that mm -hmm. renters can do to uh, modernize a kitchen. And this one needs a little bit of modernization. Yeah. So what do you think of the paint color in here? I don't really like it. It's nice and bright, which is good, mm -hmm. because it's bright. But I, I'm not sure about the yellow and the, the yellow and green. Why not? <laughs> Let's see the living room. All right. Well, this is a good size. It's narrow, but it's good, yeah. So how do you guys feel about this lovely blush color? I don't mind it. The color, which Jamie doesn't mind, I find a little bit revolting. I can do fabulous things with this room. I think it's got loads of potential. Try to look past our rental's wall color. Paint is the easiest and least expensive thing to change. If you've always wanted hot pink walls, rentals are the place to experiment. Just make sure you get the OK from your landlord. Make an affordable feature wall out of your vacation photos by showcasing them in uniform, crisp white frames. You can save by covering tired sofas and futons with budget-friendly slip covers, while splurging on dramatic throw pillows that add impact and style. Since this is their first place, Caitlin and Jamie have very little furniture. In fact, all they've brought with them is a sofa and two beds, and the rest is up to us. On a $1,000 budget, I've promised them a fun and stylish living room that will reflect their vibrant personalities while giving them a comfortable space to hang out. I just hope the design and the hot pink paint color is what Caitlin and Jamie had in mind for their first grown-up apartment in the city. Come see your new place. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. 
Wow. Stunning. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I definitely love it too. <laughs> we we love, love it. the makeover. <laughs> it's amazing. I love the color. Me too. The color is called cream soda, and I was like <laughs> totally taking a chance on it. Caitlin and Jamie did not want anything neutral, so I got to have a lot of fun with color and pattern in here. It's wild and crazy and wouldn't work for some people, but it definitely works for us. Definitely. <laughs> wow, look at the photos. They're all our photos. Yeah, that's so cool. And I love that it's just like ceiling to floor. I made the gallery wall out of photographs from Caitlin and Jamie's travels. Printing them in black and white was a great way to give them uniformity, and it also balances out the bright, bold color on the walls. And I love, again, that it's our art on the wall. Yeah, I love it's that. pictures that we've taken, and they look beautiful. I love this rug. I think the design on the carpet is so cool. It's so funky. Look at those lamps. I know, I saw it. It's They're amazing. beautiful. They're beautiful. So many pillows for our friends to sleep over. <laughs> it all goes together so nicely without going together in a matchy, matchy kind of way. I love the shelves. They're so nice, and they're really bold. I took floating shelves and added painted spindles to create a decorative yet sturdy display unit. This little armchair had dark brown wood legs, so we painted those out white, which gave it new life. I love the new chair. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And this was your couch. Yeah, yeah. it's just been recovered. It's been recovered. <laughs> it feels like some place you can have people over and entertain and it's warm and cozy, but fun. It's absolutely it's perfect. It's definitely us. Yes. Yeah. It really is. This apartment is completely transformed because while my design team and I were working in this room, Caitlin and Jamie painted every square inch of the rest of the apartment. Just a coat of paint, and it changes everything. So I ended up with the room with no natural sunlight coming through, which is unfortunate, but we drew out of a hat. Caitlin and Jamie painted the kitchen gray, a color that they pulled out of the tiles that were already there. They got permission from the landlord to paint out the trim in a nice, crisp white, and the whole kitchen looks completely transformed. And I mean, it took us all of a few hours, and it looks so much newer, so much cleaner. I would say the kitchen was my least favorite room in the house before, and now it's probably one of my favorite mm -hmm. rooms in the house. After this one. After this <laughs> one. <laughs> Our makeover cost $850. That's just over half a month's rent. And this place is transformed. It's vibrant and fun, a fabulous place for Caitlin and Jamie to spend the next couple years of their lives. It's exactly what we were looking for. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you My so pleasure. much for your help. We never could have done it without you. <laughs> I love this apartment. I love where it is. I just feel at home already. So there's a two-piece bathroom there. Oh, that's fantastic. So there's one and a half bathrooms? That's right. Oh, that's good. I love the fact that there was one and a half bathrooms. That is the first apartment at that size that I've seen that with. So what do you think yeah, of this kitchen? So um, I like it. It has a good layout. It's uh, a little bit dirty right now, but I mean, I like the bar. It's great. I really wanted that. The very best thing you can do is to ask the landlord to do a professional cleaning job. I mean, if that's something I could put in my lease, that it does get professionally cleaned, that's good to know. So, and it also needs some paint. The girls who own the place said that they would be open to painting, which I think mm, is fantastic. Yeah. So we might be able to ask them to go uh, with a color that would work for you. Oh, that'd be great. What do you think of the living area? It's a huge space, a lot bigger than some of the other places I've seen. The carpet looks really dingy. How old did you say this building was? The building's three years old, and these carpets look like seven or eight years old. Like They look like their life is finished. I hate the carpet. I think you could even ask them to replace the carpets with other carpet, or for almost the same cost, laminate hardwood flooring for you. Ugh. I don't think I can live with the carpet as it is. It's a little bit too dirty for me, and I have terrible allergies. And then I have a dining room table. Do you think it would fit in this space? The room was made to be a combination living dining room. So I want to define both areas. We'll do that easily in the living space with a simple rug, and in the dining area by hanging a fabulous chandelier as a focal point. When funds are limited, especially in a rental, splurge on one major thing that you can take with you when you go. My strongest suggestion would be to ask the landlord to switch out the carpet for a light-colored laminate floor. That alone will completely transform this room. 
armed with the keys to Amanda's new condo and a $1,000 budget, I've promised to transform her living room into a multifunctional and gorgeous space that will rival her friend Nikki's stylish digs. When you're renting, you don't want to invest in property that you don't own, so keep your budget low and your design plans focused on items you can take with you. Fabric is a great place to start. I'm in the market for some lush fabrics that will help me transform some old pieces. Inexpensive dining chairs found at a secondhand store are getting a fresh coat of clean white paint. The old seat cushions are an easy fix. A square of stylish fabric and a staple gun are all you need. I turned a beautiful blue flannel into slip covers for Amanda's old chairs. An inexpensive way to breathe new life into old furniture. One of my favorite tricks? Carpet tiles. They come in an array of colors and patterns and are perfect for renters because you can use as many or as few as you need to fit the room. With Amanda's love for high design and a tight budget to work with, I just hope my plans fit the bill. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks great. It just looks so different. The laminate flooring makes all the difference in this rental. Plus, it's a great investment for the landlord. I love the chandelier. It's beautiful. Very modern. It's probably one of my favorite things. Chandeliers are great for renters because you put it in, you enjoy it while you're here, and as long as you keep the one that was here when you got here, you put it back up when you leave and you take this with you anywhere you go. I do really love the table. We got it at a flea market. It's an old teak style. I just think it's really clean and the lines are good and what's old is new. The rug is actually um, really neat because it's a whole bunch of different squares. You spill something on it, oh, I didn't you take one that. up, you put another one down. I think the carpet is fantastic just because you can take it apart, you can change the shape. I really like these cushions too, they're great. Really, really nice material. We reused your clothing dresser as a TV stand and the way to make it all come together was to have the same color shelf above it. Oh, there's a picture of me and you out there. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> I think Jody did a fabulous job. I really like it. There's so many things about it that I probably wouldn't have been able to do on my own. The kitchen looks a thousand times better without the clutter, with a good cleaning. It's just so much cleaner. It's amazing what a little bit of, you know, elbow grease can do. Amanda's bedroom has really reached its potential with furniture placed in the right way. It's fabulous. I really actually love the bedroom. I love that they painted the back wall a darker shade. The solarium works fabulously as a walk-in closet. I'm glad Amanda took my advice. You know, I didn't have much closet space in there. I think that's really solved the problem. This is a real lesson in looking past other people's stuff. This place was a dog's breakfast when I showed it to Amanda, and look at it now. This whole makeover came in under $1,000, well below one month's rent. I think designing a space like this is definitely a good investment. Initially, it probably seems like a little bit more money than you're willing to spend, but I think that it just makes you love your home that much more. I'm very excited to start this stage of my life, um, a new job, uh, a new condo that I love, and um, you know, it's very exciting. So, this is the living room. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be hardwood, but new laminate is the next best thing. It's very bright. Yeah, very bright. A little tight. Sort of thing, when you open the door and you walk in, the first thing you see is this tight living room with doors off each wall, which makes it a little tricky. Yeah, I know it's hard to figure out where you'd place a couch, so you kind of have to be very sparse in this room. But let's just keep looking, because there's some other really good attributes. The bathrooms are behind you. It's been renovated. OK, cool. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks clean. It's great. Cool. The bathroom's big, and it's just been renovated. There's loads of storage, and I think it'll really work for them. It looks clean, and it's new, and I actually I really like the cabinetry, so I was happy with it. Yeah, and there was shelving and storage area, which was nice. Pretty spacious. It's, it's an area where maybe the dog could be at, at certain times, because it's ceramic floors, so she's not going to mess up any wood floors. Stand-up shower. I'm not a bath person, so that doesn't bother me. So it has everything that I would need in a, in a bathroom. So come check out the kitchen. It's tight. 
Yeah, it is. Lots of counter space. What I like about the kitchen is that there's lots of counter space. I like to cook, so that works for me. We can definitely work with it. Yeah, it's tight, but I like that it's bright, it's open and airy, and I'm not sure whose number this is, but hopefully it's like <laughs> pizza or some sort of wonderful delivery. Perfect. <laughs> so when they do the renovation, that'll be the door to okay. the deck. Cool. Having the deck added on to the kitchen, even though it's long and narrow, will be a huge bonus, because in the warmer months, we can have that door open. It will totally double our space, um, which will make it better than manageable. Come check out the office. So this is advertised as a second bedroom, but I thought it would be perfect for both of your home offices. One of the big selling features of this place is the office space. It's more than what we were hoping for. The fact that there's a separate room that Mandy and Steve can use for their offices is fantastic. It means they won't have to have their workspace in their living room. Let's check out the master bedroom. I think you're going to like it. It's big. Mm, the bedroom here is massive. So this is a big step up from a tent. Absolutely. It's got so much space. I love it. Mandy and Steve have come from university residence rooms with desks and then living in a tent. So having a dedicated bedroom that's a nice size would be really great for them. Yeah, yeah we could do a lot with this. Yeah, I think it's loaded with potential. Storage is an easy fix. Used pieces work great in a rental because you can paint them any color to match the tone of the room. An armoire and a dresser will make up for the lack of closets here. A great DIY project for renters is to frame the bed with an inexpensive homemade headboard and use an ottoman as a footstool, pieces you can take with you. I'm surprising them with a bedroom makeover that will capture their character, give them a bit of that organic feeling they love while staying within a $1,000 budget, less than one month's rent. To give them some storage, we found a beautiful wood armoire in a second-hand store, and we're giving it a fresh coat of paint to bring it back to life. I've chosen a neutral gray for the walls to create a serene environment where the accessories can take center stage. We're repurposing an old ottoman by covering it with a lush fabric and accenting it with studs that snap right in. This piece can be used anywhere in the apartment if they need extra seating. I just hope it's the change they were looking for after trading in their tent. Wow. Cool. Very nice. There's so much to take in. We didn't have any closets, and so they've taken a room without any closet space, and they've added some, mm. some nice pieces, and so it feels really good. Ooh, even this matches this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Little details, that's cool. Love this. this yeah, I awesome. really dig that. Isn't that great? Yeah, I think that's awesome. I thought it was something that you guys would really like, and yeah. I can see you taking it on with you to, you know, different places. It's totally our style, and yeah, I love it. I think it's awesome. It's perfect. Having like solid fixture pieces that I'll be moving to a next home makes it feel grounded, and that's what I wanted. How do you like the light fixture? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of these at a really high-end furniture store, and it was $3,000. When I did it, I got an $80 chandelier, and we strung twigs around it with wire, painted it in a really matte color, and 100 bucks later, voila. Very cool. I was so excited to give this couple who's been living in a tent a really comfy, cozy, welcoming bed to come home to. The cottons are all organic, and they're all very traditional prints, but they mm. become so modern when you mix them all together. This is really nice. Good. For your window treatments, we just did a very simple bamboo roller blind. Little things like that make a big difference. It's a really small investment, even if you leave it behind when you go. It doesn't feel like a rental space, which is something I was really hoping for through this experience. And it just feels like home, which is really nice. And that's kind of a neat touch. Those were screens, okay. so we bought two of them and took the hinges off and turned it into a headboard for you. Great. This is like a luxury for me, and I'm not really sure what I do with it. <laughs> but it looks cool. I think that's where you sit to put your socks on. Oh, OK. Oh. Well, there you go. See, I need someone to sort of give me a, a set of instructions <laughs> with all this stuff. And the idea of putting my socks on and that thing makes really? sense. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Good. We'll have you trained in no time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The living room had a troubled past as far as paint goes. We painted a very nice, tasteful, neutral color, and voila. For me, that's one of the biggest things, is walking into the living room and to have that different paint on the walls, and so it's not like this bright thing that makes me feel like I'm in this little space, because it is a small living room. Mm -hmm. That makes a huge difference, and 
we have a couch. We've never owned a couch. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, couch. but that's a big part of this whole space is to have a place that we feel at home and we feel comfortable. The kitchen here is pretty tiny, but Mandy and Steve can pull some bar stools up to the counter and they've got an instant breakfast bar. I love the rack. The pot rack. The pot rack. It totally fills the room perfectly. The office was a bonus space for Mandy and Steve. Having an office is a total luxury. Both of us work from home a lot, so it'll be really beneficial to us. Yeah. The bathroom itself was very modern. We gave it a quick coat of paint in a nice woodsy color and removed the mismatched floating shelving. That punch of green makes the space a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. I came in right on budget. $1,000 for the bedroom makeover and just some paint and small accessories throughout the apartment. We got what we wanted with this place completely. This whole thing was about landing ourselves on our feet and mm -hmm. building a home base from which we can also grow. And I think everything fits really nicely. I think for young professionals that are still renting, it's worth putting, whether it's a month's rent or whatever you're comfortable with, into your space to make it homey. Mandy and Steve are planning on living here for at least a couple of years. So it's absolutely worth the money to make the place comfortable and stylish. The overall picture, it's bang on. So come on in, ladies. What do you think? Oh, it's so nice. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Lots of room. Oh, there's a fireplace. I love when you walk in, how it's all open concept. It's really pretty. And the staircase, it curls. I love that. <laughs> It's so suburbia. <laughs> it's got hardwood floors throughout. The floor is really nice. I know you want two bathrooms, so there is a two-piece over here, and it leads right on through to a laundry room. Very cute. And fabulous kitchen. The kitchen's massive. The kitchen's totally yeah. brand new. And this is, is this a new fridge? Brand new fridge. There's so much cupboard space, too. Do you want to see upstairs? Of course. Come on. So this is one of two equal mirror image bedrooms. All the rooms are a decent size. Oh, this is a nice bathroom. Oh, yeah. I love that there's two bathrooms in this one. Yeah, it's convenient. And there's two sinks. It's really rare to get a his and her sink in a rental. So the boys will have their sink, and I'll have my sink. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> this is huge. Big. It's like a dance studio. The master bedroom is unbelievable. It's huge. A master bedroom this big usually goes to the roommate who's willing to pay a bit more rent. Always discuss the arrangement before signing a lease. This, this place is amazing, but I'm just kind of worried about the downstairs kind of not reflecting like who we are. This place doesn't necessarily look like a hangout for three young hipsters. And I think that's making it hard for Anlina to see herself living here. So from what I'm hearing, you like the size, shape, feel of the house other than the decor. Yeah. The landlord here is not interested in having any of the walls painted in this place. We're not allowed to change out any light fixtures. Here's some ways that we can add some hip, young, urban life to this place. When you can't paint a rental's walls or change out the fixtures, renters can always add personality with fabric and accessories. Graphic fabric can be used from floor to ceiling to create show-stopping curtains and interest on the walls. An easy project for any rental wall is to stretch a favorite print over canvas to inexpensively jazz up walls instead of painting. Used furniture from secondhand stores can also be painted in fresh colors for a funky feel. The challenge is taking the bones of a suburban-inspired house and using the right colors and accents to turn it into a cool space for young adults to hang out in. And I'm gonna do it all on a $1,000 budget, well under one month's rent. Since the walls are off limits by the landlord, we're taking some paint to used furniture pieces. Paint and fabric will transform an old dining room set, giving it a fresh, hip look. And the rest is all in the accessories. You can always find stylish steals at big chain stores to keep the budget down. I'm hoping this space will be the perfect transition for Anlina after leaving the nest for good. So come on in. Oh, wow. Good job, Jody. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's great. So this whole idea started with the drape race. We're having the drapes go from the wall 
to the other wall makes it look like you have a huge window. We wanted to get a huge punch of color so that you take away from the builder beige that's everywhere in here. Uh huh. I think it totally accomplishes the goal of making the place feel a little bit younger. Because I couldn't paint here, I relied very heavily on graphic, colorful fabrics. I like the blue coffee table. I know it's a loud color, but it's kind of vibrant. It kind of makes it fun. And so I think that was the thing that this place needed. That's an interesting lamp, huh? I like the lamp. Yeah, I like the couch. I think the couch is my favorite part. I didn't think we'd get a huge couch like that in this space. The dining room already had a chandelier that the landlord was attached to, so I was not allowed to change that. But what I did was brought in a table and chairs. I like the, the table. The table's nice. The major part of the funds for this makeover went towards buying secondhand furniture, and Lena had nothing. So everything's been painted oh, and nice. recovered. That's nice. Very nice, actually. Now we can fight around a nice table. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything to the kitchen here. It was already fabulous. The main colors there were black, white, and gray, so I carried them through the rest of the space to keep it all cohesive. Oh, I love the kitchen. There's loads of cabinetry, loads of countertop space. And Lena ended up taking one of the smaller bedrooms, and her furniture from home filled it absolutely perfectly. I like my room, it's cozy. And the best part is, and Lena was able to save a little bit on rent by giving up the master bedroom to one of her roommates. He's taking care of internet and cable. So it kind of helped me out too, because now it's one less bill to pay. Does it feel like home? Yeah, it totally does. Honestly, I love the space. It felt like home. Like, right away. She had a beautiful house. What more does she want? Really? <laughs> like, what more does she want? It's perfect. I came in just under budget. This makeover cost $965. I, I'm happy. I'm so happy with the space. For the first time moving out, I'm doing it large. I'm so lucky. It's a horseshoe somewhere on me. I don't know. But it's been an absolute pleasure working with you guys and getting to know you both. Oh, thank you. I hope you'll call me Marjo when it's time for you to move out. No. <laughs> out for the first time and gets this. I don't know. Me. <laughs> so come on in. <laughs> I'm taking a really big risk showing Yvette and Paul this unfinished place. They're going to really have to use their imaginations to envision what this place might look like finished. It's not bad. I like that it's all open. It's the living, dining kind of separation here. It's not a very big space. So right. we have to get a little creative. Let's see if you like the master. It's just sure. at the front. The master, obviously, was originally the living room. <laughs> yeah. So we have an ancient fireplace. And obviously, they did sort of a makeshift closet in here yeah. as well. Looks like <laughs> someone just took a bunch of pieces of wood and stuff and kind of just slapped them together. If we could get rid of that closet, it would be totally workable. It's OK. It, it's good that it's not any smaller. I think it's just workable. Let's see the rest of the house. OK, great. So we like the fact that the kitchen is open concept. It's really big. So that's yeah. what it's got going for it. I'm particularly excited about the gas stove. It's a lot more efficient than an electric stove, so it's nice to see. You guys are really going to use your imaginations for the back of the house. This is the area that's getting the most amount of work. Yes, under construction. <laughs> um... Kind of a tribute to two by fours. There's a real surprise in here. This rental has an imaginary sunroom in the back. Right now, it looks like a deck with a bit of a roof on it. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, I don't think I'd want to move in here as it is today. If you can picture a really nice sunroom, this wall will be out. So ah. windows all the way around, light pouring into your kitchen right. across the back of the house. Okay. You'll have cool. access to the backyard. So this could double as your guest room and sure. office, extra seating area. Yeah. So no, you know what? I'm, I'm excited about this. This is great. You can, you can picture it? I can picture it. Yvette and Paul could really see that it's going to be a beautiful room that'll add value to the house. There could be a chance that it's not finished by the time you move in. Right. OK, so that's something to consider. I know you had some concerns about fitting a living and dining area into the living room, so here's what I'm thinking. To fit your large dining table in this small space, we need to place it against the wall with chairs surrounding. That leaves the opposite wall for the couch. Here, we'd hang a graphic fabric behind the couch as an inexpensive art installation, easy to do in any rental. It can be pulled to one side to change up the tone of the room. 
We'd paint the entire space with an Enviro-friendly low VOC paint, a greener alternative that saves not only the environment, but the air you breathe from harmful fumes and vapors. The delayed renovation set back my makeover plans by a few weeks, but now that the room is clear, I'm giving us a $1,000 budget to turn it into a living dining room that they can finally settle into. The entire place is getting a fresh coat of environmentally responsible and healthier low VOC paint. That means less fumes and harmful chemicals polluting the air. I've sourced out organic fabrics to use throughout the apartment. Making your own curtain panels is a great idea in a rental. Once you've chosen a fabric and cut it to size, easy grommets that snap into place are all you need to finish them off. And I've got big plans for a bold print to accent the living area. I just hope it lives up to their expectations after the disappointment of their unfinished reno. Come see your new space. Wow. <laughs> nice. Oh my, this is amazing. sofa's beautiful. We wanted to create as much seating space as possible in this mm. smaller space, so we went with an L shape with the open side mm. through the traffic area. Oh, yeah, that's great. I think the dining table looks absolutely fantastic in here. I wasn't about to get rid of it. Yvette is very attached to her dining room table, and I can see why. It's gorgeous. Normally, I would say it's too big for this space, but because it's glass, it works. Now, and I know you love, I love to I love the cook. cardboard. This yes. is fantastic. <laughs> so that's a repurposed uh, full-length mirror. Took the glass out. And what I did with that is I went the full length of the table, which mm -hmm. kind okay. of anchors the table and gives it purpose in that spot. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. If you're making a nice meal, you can uh, announce what's on the menu. You know, or I can just write feed yourself. <laughs> sure. It's in the microwave. <laughs> with all the beautiful stuff in here, what I like most is this curtain. I just keep getting drawn to it. I love the fabric. It's just fantastic. I used unbleached fabrics and organic cottons as much as I could in this room. Oh, I didn't even see the light fixture. That was sort of my favorite thing because I thought it really brought in natural, but modern. What awesome. is it made of? That's fantastic. It's wicker, so it's a natural fiber. That's very cool. That is awesome. I was really, really pleased to see the kitchen painted. I love that it's all the same color and it really brings the space together. I think it's beautiful. Yvette and Paul weren't crazy about the closet in the bedroom. With the landlord's permission, they removed it and created enough space to accommodate their king-size bed. The addition has new doors and windows and is fully insulated. So when it's done, it'll be completely energy efficient. When we took the apartment, the design of the back, it was a completely different design. It wasn't nearly as nice. The landlord had to tear it all down, unfortunately, and start again. It's worked out in our favor. It's got a beautiful sliding glass door that's dead in the center of the room. And at the end of the day, it's a better, bigger, and brighter space. It'll definitely be finished soon, and I, I think it's gonna look fantastic. I came in right on budget, reusing much of what Yvette and Paul already had. I spent only $1,000 for the makeover and the low VOC paint that we used throughout. It was well worth taking the chance because, hey, it, we got what we wanted, really. Thanks a lot, Joey. My pleasure. Yvette and Paul set out to downsize and reduce their carbon footprint. When all is said and done, they'll have a cozy place that's energy efficient. So come on in, we go straight up to the second floor. So guys, there is the first of three bathrooms on this floor. Did you say one of three? Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I'm showing them a place that's three bedrooms, three baths, just like the house they've got now. There's some really great things about this place. Um, like the fact that it's a corner unit means that there's windows all the way around. I love all the windows. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, one thing that I am noticing, though, <laughs> is all the carpeting. This place is wall-to-wall -wall carpeting from top to bottom, but it is brand new. That would be something that you might have to compromise on if this is the place. Right. This is bigger than the average rental in this price range. No one's lived in there, so it's not as big a deal. So nice big kitchen, open concept to the living dining area. With that curve over there by the wall, it's a bit of a tough space to use. The space planning is going to be a little challenging. Space planning will be a little challenging. I think there's loads of things that we can do with this space to make it fabulous and functional for you. In an awkward layout, you need to work with the curves of the space. An inexpensive round dining table would fit comfortably here, 
with an interesting light fixture making a statement above. Light fixtures and window coverings can have major impact in a rental, and you can take them with you when you move. We'd splurge a bit on stylish privacy blinds in this space since there's so many windows. Plus, they'll allow you to control the light coming through. With the move finally behind them, I'm bringing in my crew to help me transform Alex and Jason's new downsized living space. And I'm gonna do it all with a budget of just $1,000, less than one month's rent. With so much stuff and a bit of an awkward layout, my challenge is going to be making it comfortable and clutter-free. I've chosen a neutral gray for the walls, which will set the backdrop while new lighting will set the mood. With some clever space planning and a few ideas I have for some custom-made art, this room is on its way. I just hope it'll satisfy their needs after moving from a large house with much more space. So, wow. I love it. I love it. I like the color. Yeah, the color, fantastic. Do they also paint white? Or it looks yeah. really vibrant now. The builder had painted the bulkhead the same color as the walls. Yeah. Bring the ceiling up a bit, we painted out the bulkhead in white. The first thing that I noticed was the beautiful contrast between the sharp, white bulkheads and the beautiful gray tone. I think the window treatments are fantastic. You've got the sheer and the opaque factor. I knew it was really important to Alex and Jason to have beautiful natural light and to be able to control it a little bit. They give you enough privacy with the sheer and then obviously if you want it to be completely opaque, you can, which is great. Oh, I love this being in here. Your microwave is in there and you know, some of the bulkier stuff that didn't fit in this much amount of cabinetry. I love it. It's a neat way of repurposing a more formal piece of furniture for everyday use, which they need now in this space. And notice anything about the cabinets? Yes, the ugly hardware is gone. Yeah. <laughs> and it's replaced with nice. beautiful stainless steel. For renters, changing out the hardware in the kitchen is the number one tip. It's such a cheap and easy fix. And really changes the space. Come on, let's see the dining room. This is a great space. Yeah, there's still water. I'm just sitting around the table and eat. One of the reasons I chose this table instead of the solid wood rectangular one is because it's a fairly small space. It is a little bit awkward having that curved wall because it does cut off some of the space. So having that curved table really works nicely. The chandelier in the dining room was key to creating some interest in that room. However, the electrical box was in the wrong spot. So the easy fix for that is to just swag it over with a hook. I think you made excellent choices. And I went with a bit more of a modern look than the house that you had before. Yeah, and still keeping some of yeah. the traditional elements, which it, is yeah. perfect. Honestly. Too much traditional in the other place wasn't. Uh, it kind of felt from times that it wasn't really it our house because it wasn't our taste. <laughs> Did you feel yeah, old? A little bit. <laughs> It was lucky that there was a beautiful room with a nice little picture window in here for Aiden. I think it's something that'll do him good for a couple of years. The ledge in front of his window is a really nice part of that room. The master bedroom here is about a third the size of Alex and Jason's previous bedroom. They did scale down their furniture. They went from a king size bed to a queen, and that really helped make everything fit. Having storage in the master ensuite was really important to Alex. This place with the double sinks gives her twice the amount of storage that she would normally have. And we added even more storage by putting shelves over top of each of the sinks. Alex and Jason had loads of furniture for me to pick and choose from. So I was able to pick the smallest, most functional pieces to bring into this new space. That meant that I had lots of budget left over to use for the beautiful windows. I think in any living space that you're planning on enjoying, it's worth putting some money into it just because you have to be happy there. It makes it feel a bit more like yours. Like when we sit down in here tonight, we're going to think that this is our place, not that we're living in somebody else's rental. Honestly, it was such a great pleasure having you work with us, and what a wonderful job that you did. Thank you so much, Jody. Yeah, so when we move again, we'll call you. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. We help them get into a beautiful rental that they can be proud of while they're saving up for their dream home. The foyer downstairs, the door's going to another apartment, or? 
they do. The landlord actually lives on the main floor. I'm always coming home late at night. I don't want to make too much noise. What do you guys think about the kitchen? There's not a lot of counter space. No dishwasher, which oh. means that I'm the dishwasher. <laughs> There's not a lot of counter space, but having the table in the kitchen, I think, would give us the space we'd need. All right, let's keep looking. Bathroom's right here. It's big. Yeah, there's plenty of room. One bathroom. Place. One bathroom, yeah. With there only being one bathroom would mean that I would have to share with three other guys, which could get a little messy. So I think this bedroom would be one of the boys? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't need much space. So this is the only bedroom on this floor. The other um, two are upstairs. Different. Yeah. I find it claustrophobic. The slanted ceiling uh, takes away some of the space in the room and would make it difficult for us to fit our furniture. Now, this room and the room on the other side of the staircase are pretty much the mirror image of each other. What makes this room different and the reason why I think this should be your room is because it has access to the rooftop terrace. Watch your hide, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. How'd you feel about everyone coming through our bedroom to Oh, Who's yeah. The deck? Not so hot. I'm not cool with that. The rooftop deck's a major selling feature. It's got a wicked view. With the boys partying at all hours of the night while I'm sleeping, because I have to get up for work the next day. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. Yeah. There is another solution. You guys could use the living room as your hmm. bedroom. And it's on the main floor, which might even be better for the dog. Hmm. Way, way better for the dog. Oh, wow. It is the biggest room in the house. Is closet? This closet? It's like a mini closet. Yeah. I think because it's so big, you could do a lot with this room. I'd start by positioning the bed against the far wall with a funky light fixture above. The perfect way to add a bit of glam to a bedroom in a rental. On the adjacent wall, we could create a vanity area for Marnie by using a repurposed desk with a mirror above. When you're sharing a rental with roommates, try to make use of whatever personal space you have. With some wallpaper and a clean color palette, we'd create a hotel chic vibe. To help them transform it into their private haven, I've promised a bedroom makeover worthy of a rock star. And I'm gonna do it all for less than half of their monthly rent on a $1,000 budget. My inspiration is a contemporary boutique hotel look. So we're getting rid of the teal walls and priming them for a coat of clean, classic charcoal gray. I sourced out a funky wallpaper that I got for a steal after asking about wallpaper ends at the store. Discontinued rolls or leftover ends are often available at inexpensive deals. Since I'm only doing two walls, I was able to get my hands on just enough. And I'm reusing a secondhand piece of furniture by sanding down the old finish and freshening it up with some new paint. An old desk can instantly be turned into a new vanity table with a little bit of elbow grease. After moving cross country to a city they've never called home, I just hope our living room turned bedroom is the retreat they need to settle into their new rental. Welcome to your new room. Oh my God! It looks beautiful. We love the room. Yep. Yeah. The feeling of the room is a lot like a boutique hotel. Uh, it feels really classic yet modern. The bright green walls have been replaced with a nice tranquil color that complements the rest of this rock star room. Unbelievable. I can't even believe it. Sean and Marnie thought that the makeover made their bedroom look like their favorite hotel in Hollywood. That's about the highest compliment I could receive. Oh my gosh, look at the chandelier. Marnie and Sean's bedroom is now clean, bright, and functional. I love the lamps. The lamps are gorgeous. One of the reasons why I did lamps all over the place was so that you're two people using a space and there's three distinct areas. So it means that wherever you are, you can light just one place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so if someone else is sleeping, you could be reading a book with this lamp on. Oh, look at the desk! That's where I can do That's my your vanity. vanity. Yeah. In my opinion, sharing a bathroom with three guys is less than desirable. With that in mind, I gave Marnie a vanity where she can apply her makeup in peace, quiet, and loads of natural light. My whole main idea with this space was to give Marnie a place that's an escape from boyland. Check out the couch. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. 
I loved the little pillow. I thought it was a little bit rock star golf. Oh, no. look. <laughs> I think this room totally reflects us. What do you think of the wallpaper? I love the wallpaper. Wallpaper can be expensive, but with only three rolls, you could cover one wall and create a really dramatic impact. It's really nice. Yeah, this is totally us. This is really great. What do you call that? It's faux fur. The bed will be the dog's new playground. Yeah, she'll definitely ruin the, the uh... fur fur rug. <laughs> yeah. All of the bedding in this room is inexpensive on its own, but by layering a bunch of different fabrics and materials, it gets a really great hotel chic feel. I love the curtains too. Mm -hmm. With the horizontal blinds, those are custom. And what they do is really filter the light and give you guys the privacy that you'll need. This is great. We love the entertaining space. It's nice and big, so we've got a bit of room in there. The rooftop deck is rooftop killer when it warms up. We love the space, we love the kitchen. Jody and her team like totally cleaned up the whole house. Pulling this space together for Sean and Marnie was a delight. This room had really great bones, but it desperately needed a makeover. With only $925, we were able to turn this room into a glamorous hotel chic space, perfect for Sean and Marnie. I think this is gonna totally work for us to have a separate living space completely from the rest of the house and the boys. I'm actually leaving for tour tomorrow. So I'm glad that this is all good and you can enjoy this. For and, me. Yeah. And she can yeah. put everything away. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Definitely the fact that she's going to be happy here is a uh, big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> We've been completely unsettled, so it's nice to finally be settled and get back to real life. We wouldn't have ended up with anything even close to as great as this uh, without your help. So thank you. My Thanks. pleasure. Thanks. I'm just happy she's happy. <laughs> I think I'm going to spend a ton of time in here. I'll be able to hide away and close the door. I can see this being my, my little oasis. Oh, I thought we used this room for rehearsals. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that.